Happy Tuesday, everyone. For those of you in the States, I hope that you had a great Labor Day weekend. I went camping for the weekend, uh, so I'm feeling really refreshed back to work today. Um, today I want to talk about blood work and the normal blood work that doctors do. Because I talk to a lot of people who say, great, I can do this testing through my doctor. And so I want to tell you how this is different from what your doctor does. So first of all, doing blood work is just testing um, one system of the body. And what I have learned is that some indicators are best tested in other ways. For example, I test hormones by looking at urine. And so, so I'm looking at multiple ways that your body is, um, is releasing things. So another example is for a gastrointestinal map, I'm looking at stool, right? I look at saliva, I look at urine, like I said, and there are a couple tests that are blood work, but they're very different than what a doctor does. So I want to see how multiple systems in the body are functioning and in, in those various means. So, and you know, so let's say, for example, that you complain of mood swings and PMS and insomnia. And so your doctor's probably going to do a blood test for hormones because some of those symptoms um, are hormone related. And so say that that blood work shows that your hormones are out of balance and you have too much or too little, say, estrogen or progesterone. So then your doctor is going to prescribe hormone replacement therapy to fix it. But that doctor isn't getting to the root cause of why your hormones are out of balance. So that means that you're going to be on these drugs for a long time, uh, possibly forever. And it's the same with the thyroid. I've been working with a couple clients who are on thyroid drugs and it's because they had typical thyroid symptoms, hypothyroid symptoms. Um, one was complaining of infertility, um, but mainly it's the weight gain and being cold all the time and things like that. And so the doctor tests for thyroid, which makes a lot of sense. So they find out that say your thyroid hormone levels are low and so they give you drugs to raise those thyroid hormone levels. But what they aren't doing is getting to the root cause of why your body isn't producing enough of that thyroid hormone. And so that is what all the tests that I do help me figure out is where are these weak links in your body? What is causing your body not to make enough thyroid hormone? And when we get to the root cause of that, then it's a lot easier to correct it for the long term. So I won't be diagnosing hypothyroidism, for example, because I'm not a doctor, but I can see where those weaknesses are in, in your body. Um, so this, the second way that the tests I do are different from a doctor's is actually in the way that I interpret them. So with a the doctor, they're looking at the lab's reference ranges. And the tests I do also show the lab's reference ranges. So, you know, say for your thyroid, there's um, a normal range is between 30 and 100. And I'm just making these numbers up right now as an example. And so they put anything lower than 30 is abnormal. Anything higher than 100 is abnormal and there's a big problem. But what they aren't taking into account is that these labs are getting those ranges based on the average of the results that they get. Um, these ranges are based on sick people, usually of one extreme or the other. And so they're taking this average and then putting this range around it and saying this is normal. But what's normal is not necessarily ideal. So I have been trained to look for ideal reference ranges, which are a lot narrower. And that's what people, um, that's what range people are in when they feel good and they're healthy. And so it's just a different way of interpreting them as well. Um, so 
yeah, just want to explain a little bit about how these tests are different. And I know it's frustrating because um, a lot of these aren't covered by insurance and doctors don't know how to do these tests. And, you know, I think that doctors are amazing and they have their place and they save lives and they can diagnose and treat disease. But we want to catch something before you're actually in a disease state, right? We want to prevent it. And I see insomnia as a sign that you are progressing toward a disease state. You're getting unhealthier and unhealthier, unfortunately. But the good news is we can find out why, we can fix it, we can do these tests that gives me the big picture of what's going on in your body and fix it. So if you are interested in figuring this out for yourself, this is the answer. This is what people don't know yet, they aren't talking about yet, but there is a physical reason why you aren't sleeping and it is hiding somewhere, but we can find it. So I want to give you hope and I'm happy to chat about your sleep. If you have any questions about these labs that I do or how to work with me, please get in touch. I would love to talk to you. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the group.